Hey guys, we're here in a very special restaurant in Sagipo that's located in Jeju Island and it's called Angori Bakori. So many of the uh, side dishes here are vegetables. So this is a cucumber kimchi. This one is mushroom. This is a regular, um, the kind of kimchi that we think of when we think of kimchi. Some uh, bean sprouts. This is the sesame leaf. It's great for wrapping in rice. And then this one is a seaweed. So if it is miyok, then it's the same seaweed that we have here in this soup. And then there is some myorchi. Uh, it's anchovies. And we have japchae, which is a glass noodle dish. And then in the middle, we have some pork, some uh, boiled pork belly, and some fish. Some fried fish, some egg, um, steamed egg. So this is keran jim. And lastly, we have some tuanjang stew, so bean paste stew. So we have a uh, makoli here. This is called halabong makoli from Jeju here. And halabong is the citrus fruit, very similar to an orange, but it's not an orange. And the second one we have is tangkong makoli, and this is made from peanut. And this is made from peanut grown on Udo, which is uh, an island in the northeast corner of Jeju. All right, so first guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get some lettuce. I'm gonna pick up some pork, some nice fatty pork. It's got the layer of skin and fat on the outside there. This is really nice. Put that on my lettuce. I'm gonna get, get some rice, put that on top. There's some samjang. This is a pepper paste for a wrap. Put that on top of there. All right, got some nice kimchi. Put that in there. Um, maybe I want to add some mushroom. Okay, got a piece of mushroom. And if I keep adding more, it's gonna get a little bit crazy. So I'm just gonna keep it at this and then go ahead and do a nice little wrap here. Make it like a little nice pouch. Okay, this is what I got here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just shove the entire thing in my mouth, okay? Mmm. Oh, so good. That pork with the layer of fat and the skin. Top notch. Really, really good. Mmm. And the samjang, like, unifies it. Really good. I hope you guys can understand me. So the combination of the flavors, kimchi, the pork, samjang, rice, the wrap, everything all together. It's just like an amazing like cornucopia of flavors in my mouth and yeah, really good. This restaurant is definitely worth visiting. Okay, and so this is miyokguk and this is some really fresh seaweed. We're very close to a harbor, so I guarantee you that this came from just offshore. Let's go ahead and try some. Oh yeah, oh, it's real fresh. Fresh seaweed fla uh, flavor. Why do people love miyokguk so much? Um, so in Korean culture, traditionally, when it's your birthday, um, your mother or grandmother would cook up a pot of miyokguk, and so it's like a way to celebrate your birthday. So for me, every time it was my birthday, I would eat miyokguk. My mom would make it. Um, this is really fresh. Did you know that when women give birth, they're only allowed to eat miyokguk for mm. like a really long time because it has so much iron and it replenishes yeah. iron? Yeah, high iron content. All right, let's go ahead and dig into this fish. This is Oktom, which is from this island, from offshore. Oktom, got the beautiful fried fish. This is like nice golden brown, you can see there. Let me flip it so you can see the front side of it. You can see that fish, you can see its face. And wow, they like fried this perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dig into the meat here. Oh yeah, that's great. This fried meat. Wow. Whoa. I'm just gonna eat the fish by itself because I love fish. This looks so good. Mm. Whoa. It tastes like fried chicken. <laughs> it actually does. That was really good. There's no bones. I have a mouthful of meat. 
Let's go ahead and try some of the japje. This looks really nice. Can you see that? It's glistening noodles. These are glass noodles. And there's some um, spinach and carrot and sesame seed in this. Hey. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, and the garlic too. Really tasty. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and eat the milchi, which is the dried anchovies. Nice and silvery and shiny. And this is gonna have like a nice sweet flavor. Oh, there's something in here that, I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah, that is a little baby, baby chukumi that was mixed in with the milchi. What's a chukumi? Chukumi is kind of like a like a baby cuttlefish or baby octopus. This is a baby baby octopus. This is like brand new, just like fresh out the egg octopus cuttlefish. Mm. Oh yeah, that is so good. You just eat it whole. There's no like bones or anything to worry about. It's not crunchy. It's not soft, it's just like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's perfectly flavored. Okay, so I can't take it anymore. So I'm proposing to Corey that we break into the makgeolli. The advice that I've heard is not to shake it and to just press a little bit so that the air comes out a little before you open it. Mm. Oh, I think this is gonna be pretty good. Okay, I love these cups too. These are different than, than the tin cups that you see often. Um, they're actually ceramic cups. So yeah, here we go. Do you want to pour for me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> True Korean style. It's amazing. Cheers. Kombe. Kombe. Oh. You can definitely taste the peanuts in here, but it's not like some kind of, you know, overwhelming peanut butter taste or something like that. It blends perfectly into the makgeolli. Not too sweet. Tiny, maybe a tiny bit sour with this nice, nice uh, peanut finish. Mm. Wow. It's like really good. Mm -hmm. I wish they sold this in Seoul. Wow. Who knew? Jeju, though, is the place to come for makgeolli. So I'm going to try some of the veggie side dishes here. Start with some mushroom. Mm. It's soft, very nice, strong mushroom taste, and a little salty. Okay. Next is the cucumber. Mm. I hear the crunch from over here. Yeah. Nice, crunchy cucumber with a little spicy finish. Now I'm gonna go for some fermented soybean soup. Mm. Oh, this is, again, really light. I I'm really enjoying all the food we're eating in Jeju. A little spicy, light, a little salty. There's some tofu and spring onions and regular onions in here. Mm. Yummy. So we've tried the tangkong makgeolli and now we're going to go for the halabong makgeolli. Ta-da! Look at that. I really like the colors, by the way. It's really nice. Very citrusy, kind of orangey. And yeah, let's crack this open. Got to kind of stir it up just a little bit because it's been sitting for a while. All right, let the air out. All right, we're good. Okay, let's go ahead and smell it. Ooh, I got the subtle, subtle halabong smell in there. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like orange juice. Gombe. Wow, that's really good. It's sweet, but it's not sweet. There's like a, like this, the sour citrus uh, flavor to it. It's like, um, the best way I can describe it is, is like, it's like a halabong fruit. Uh, how can I explain it to you guys who have never had halabong? It's kind of like a more sour, like tangerine kind of flavor, but not like bad, like this is really good. What's nice about the makgeolli is that there's, 
really no like alcohol flavor, like that just like it bites your tongue or goes down your throat and burns you. Makoli, you don't get that. It, it, that, which is why it's kind of dangerous because you just keep drinking because it doesn't taste like alcohol. And actually, the Halabong Makoli has 6% alcohol and the Tangkong Makoli has also 6% alcohol. So it's a little bit more than beer. And um, yeah, so it could get you drunk, but um, this is definitely a traditional Korean culture to drink Makoli with some delicious food. We had an awesome meal at Angkori Pakkori, and I would like to comment that this place could be really good, I think, for vegetarians, vegans, and possibly even Muslims, because their jongshik comes out in all separate little dishes, and you can really choose what you eat, and it's just really tasty and wholesome and delicious, and we really enjoyed it. If you're ever in Sagipo, please take the time to come by here and try it out. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share with your friends, and also comment and let us know what kind of new videos you'd like to see in the future.